These cutoff wheels seem like they are cheap and fragile. They come with the Dremel, but they're so easily cracked. So what is the point? Also based on the construction, you'll see that the center hole is not even very round. So how could we guarantee that this thing stays centered on the, the shaft while we're cutting? Usually I prefer these higher quality cutoff wheels. You can see this grid pattern. That means that they're inlaid with fiberglass, making them much tougher against cracking. Okay, but here's the advantage of these cheap thin ones. This is probably the thinnest cut that you can make on metal with the Dremel. Okay, and so the thickness of that disc is less than 0.7 millimeters. All right, so you could make a groove that is probably under a millimeter for sure. All of the other cutoff wheels are gonna put a groove that's at least, I don't know, one and a quarter millimeters. So you can't get a fine line if you want it. So I mount this disc on the shaft with a tiny screw and these two little red gaskets that protect uh, the disc from shock and vibrations. So it doesn't fall apart under a little bit of stress. Okay, so we tighten that up. And now we're guaranteed that's not centered. I'm spinning now. Listen to the sound and you'll hear an intermittent ch -ch -ch until it gets trued up. Okay, now we're smooth. That means we've trimmed the outside of the edge. Okay, now I want a fine groove on this pin. Okay, now I'm gonna snap it on with a clip. There's just a little bit of uh, tack I used to hold it in place while I, while I squeezed it. Now I have the ability, for example, to customize the pins and customize my ratchet straps for, to make them configurable on the fly. I can push that out and I can replace that with a finer component that leaves more clearance and it's more compact than using this cotter pin. So the value of the thinnest, cheapest cutoff wheels is that they can make a thinner groove in components and allow some designs that the other cutoff wheels simply cannot give you.